Hey guys, Crazy Airborne coming to you live from Trenars. Hold on one sec, let me take this mother effer out. Headshot, biatch. So yes, we have an outbreak. There is an infection, it has taken over the population. I have not seen a single civilian yet. Everyone has turned into a frickin' zombie. What's going on, people? It's Crazy Airborne. I'm playing some DayZ. Dudes, have you guys seen this game? Have you got are you guys playing this game? This game is crazy. This game is so much fun. It's called Daisy. It is a mod for uh, Arma 2. And so you do have to buy Arma 2, um, but the the mod itself is free. And um it is just intense. It is this zombie apocalypse type game and it's a survival game. And it's basically just you just log in with no gear. You have no idea what to do. And you just have to scavenge for gear and um, make your way to different, like this is a barn, usually has some pretty good gear in it, like an axe and maybe a shotgun. And um, you can see I have a crossbow there. It's just, uh, it's intense, man. It's so intense. It's a multiplayer game, so it takes it takes the intensity of just fighting zombies or whatnot, and whatnot to a whole new level with multiplayer because uh, at any time, I could just, I could be chilling in this barn, grabbing some loot cakes, and I could just have a, another player run in and just light me up with a freaking fully automatic, you know, M16 or M4 or something. Like, it's just, it makes it this whole type of, uh, and every situation is intense. Every time you shoot your gun, zombies are alerted, so they come running. Every time you shoot your gun, you could have alerted a nearby player, so he could might come running to, if he could you know tell you we're shooting with your pistol maybe you probably don't have a rifle and he does he might come find you and kill you and take your gear um, it's definitely like a kill or be killed world out here and I am addicted I've been playing this game for like four days and I can't put it down um, it's so much fun it just it's 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 a, it's it's a true sandbox game really um, most games nowadays seem to be pushing you to play a certain way they give you an, a reward or a some kind of incentive to play the game the developers want you to play but this game has stayed true to f just sandbox you do whatever you want for f and basically you do whatever you want for fun and that's the main thing driving you and it really creates this dynamic environment that's always changing you um, situations that are different every time because you never know what's going to be around that corner or who's watching you with their sniper rifle you're doing a lot of low crawling in the game that's the best way to get around because you stay low and the zombies don't see you and it's harder to uh, get killed by other players low crawling around everybody always fights over these special places that have good loot this is a fire station and I just found my first assault rifle it's an AK it's in my hand there I was so pumped it was like hallelujah when I found this sniper rifle and uh, but did you saw I, I tried to throw a, a whiskey bottle an empty bottle out the window but it crashed into the window frame so this attracted the zombies they all started coming up the stairs um, that guy had nothing on him, but it's always worth it to check. And I can hear him all below me, and I was I can't see any though, so I end up uh slowly working my way down, just mowing through the zombies. And Oh man, such a great game. Such a great game. Start playing with some friends on TeamSpeak and you can uh just have a blast, you know, you just pick a place like let's go to this city. It's like a two hundred and fifty square kilometer map and there's big cities and there's small villages and there's coastline and you can find vehicles I got in my first vehicle today found a jeep just this random jeep out in the middle of the forest and started driving it around with Pandora Will another director here on Mahalo and um man that was just that felt really rewarding like oh wow we found a vehicle we thought we were really getting somewhere with the game but you can't become attached because if you die you lose your equipment you start from zero so it's, it's just in, it's really intense if you want to play something different it's it's not a call of duty style game it's not fast paced at all it's the opposite of fast paced it's a slow pick your way through you know plan your shots don't waste your ammo type of survival game so hope you guys enjoy this commentary please check out daisy it is freaking awesome um, you know don't get too frustrated it's a bit frustrating in the beginning you definitely get waxed as a new guy cuz you don't know what the hell is going on but it is just awesome and I mean, who doesn't love killing a zombie in the freaking the face? I mean, it never gets old. But stay tuned to Mahalo. 
we got um, lots of new directors. We got lots of different types of games. It's not going to be all FPS games. I mean, I wouldn't even consider this an FPS game. It's survival zombie game. But uh, thanks for watching. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.